Hey everybody, Dan and Leslie here. Today we are talking about the 14 pro hacks for scoring the most popular Disney dining reservations. So number 14. Number 14. Okay, is book your ADRs as soon as your window opens at 60 days out. So, I mean, this means you want to be on the computer, awake, ready to go before the clock rolls rolls over to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're booking a Disney World vacation within 60 days, you can still have a fabulous time, but you're not going to get the hardest to get reservations. I'm just telling you that right now. All right, so tip number 13 is to stay on property so you can book your entire vacation on the first morning up to that 10 days out. That's all you need to say about that, right? I mean, it is super, super important because if you are not, I and people are talking about like, oh, there's no perks to staying on property. This is a perk that goes um, unsaid for a lot of people, but it's a huge one. Like if you want the hardest to get reservations, staying on property is really the way that you do that. Yeah. All right. Number 12, if your budget and schedule allow and dining is really important to you, arriving midweek for a short vacation can be a little tough because most people arrive on the weekend and stay for a week. And so those people's dining reservations opened up four days before yours is opening up for the same time period. Um, So that can, that can be a little tough if you're arriving midweek and are only there for a short period. Yeah. So yeah, if you get there on a Tuesday or Wednesday, 60 days from that Tuesday or Wednesday, like everybody's already made the reservations that have overlapped you. Right. So number 11 is the longer your stay, the easier it will be to find open ADRs. So you can try looking for the hard to get ones at the end of your trip. Um, And so like, for instance, say if you have two days at Hollywood Studios, one at the beginning, one at the end, look for sci-fi and ogas on the last Hollywood Studios day first, because fewer people would have had the chance to book those ADRs. And so you have a higher probability of getting them. Absolutely. All right. Number 10 is to make sure that your login works the (laughs) night before you're waking up at like 558 AM Eastern time to book this stuff. A lot of people don't realize that Disney has the same login and password for all of their sites. They own ESPN. They own ABC. Disney plus counts as well and my Disney experience. If you change your password that's associated with your username on your ESPN Plus account, and you don't realize that that's tied to your My Disney Experience account. When you go to log in, it's going to be a very confusing 5:58 a.m. wake up call. All right. So number nine is to make sure your credit card is up to date in My Disney Experience and hasn't expired. So just so you know, you have to secure every ADR with a credit card because if you don't show up, they're going to charge you ten dollars per person for not showing up. Number eight, if you are going at this alone, um, if Stitch eats your page, which means the page crashes, try to use a different browser. So I Mm -hmm. find that Chrome works fairly well. And then also use incognito mode. So number seven is the morning of two people can be in the same My Disney Experience account at the same time making reservations. So you could have someone helping you out. Um, Sometimes if the website crashes, you can have luck booking ADRs on the My Disney Experience app. So I always start with my computer and then move to the the app. Um, Start, always start with the hardest to get reservations first, no matter when you want them during your trip. So don't go in chronological order. And then search for times by the hour if you're not having any luck searching by the meal. So what I mean by that is if you've put in dinner, sometimes if you search for 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., something will populate in that isn't populating whenever you just put in dinner. Hack number six is to be flexible. So if you can't find a breakfast, can you do lunch or dinner? Like how important is it for you to eat at that specific restaurant? Also be flexible in your days. So if you need to st- swap a Hollywood Studios and an Animal Kingdom day, just so you, you can get that hard to get sci-fi reservation, like if you were planning to go to Hollywood Studios on Wednesday and Animal Kingdom on Thursday, can you reverse those and go to Hollywood Studios on Thursday to get that sci-fi reservation if one pops up? Just be flexible in your plans in order to do that. Just make sure that there is park pass availability. And if you can't be flexible in days or parks, 
have backup reservations that you want instead. So, um, you know, if you really want to meet Mickey at a meal and you can't get into Chef Mickey's, try maybe for Tusker House or Garden Grill or Hollywood and Vine or Topolino's instead on different days. Just kind of be flexible and have those backup options. And hack number five, Disney releases dining availability by time, by date, and by party size. So the larger the group, the less availability there will be because there are more four person tables than there are eight tops, right? Yeah. So if you can't find a dinner at a restaurant for a party of eight, try searching two parties of four and just play with those restaurant numbers. So you can get a party of four for 6 p.m. and another party of four for 6.15 p.m. And then when you show up for the reservation, tell them that you have two reservations, two different groups, similar times, but you would like to sit together or as close as possible. They will try to accommodate that. Hack number four is that if you're trying to book something at a restaurant that is not owned by Disney. So for example, there's a lot of these at Disney Springs. Um, check the open table app, or sometimes you might have luck if you call the restaurant directly. So a lot of the restaurants, especially at Disney Springs, will only release part of their availability to the Disney dining system. And open table, the reservation app open table will have additional availability above and beyond that. All right, number three is, um, a twofold here. So one, keep checking. So if you're not getting what you want, then keep looking back because people cancel ADRs all the time. Um, the other piece of that is that you could create an alert with mouse watcher or mouse dining. Now this is only an alert tool and there's no guarantees that the reservation will still be there when you go to check. It's first come first serve, right? Right. So if you're not just Johnny on the spot, like it, like you have to log in immediately and make that reservation or you're, it's going to be gone. It's going to be gone. Hack number two, it's the day of, and you didn't get what you wanted. What wah, do you wah. do? Okay, there are a few There are a few things that you can do here. So number one is see if you can be added to the walk-up availability list. And this you can find in the My Disney Experience app. In fact, with Genie, it is a little easier to find where this walk-up availability list is. Number two, see if there is availability at the lounge of a popular restaurant. Oh, yeah, this is a great idea because uh, like I have a lot of clients that Ohana is a tough one to get. And if they don't get Ohana, I'm like, go to Tambu Lounge. You can still get the noodles, the wings, the bread pudding, the pot stickers, and you don't have to have a reservation for that. We've done this for Hollywood Brown Derby. We've done this for Nomad Lounge. Instead of eating at Tiffin's, we've done this at Paddlefish. You can go up to the top of the Paddlefish bar. Now they've got their own menu up there, so it's not a full right. full experience. But if you just want to experience the ambiance, um, any restaurant, like California Grill, super hard restaurant reservation to get, but they do have a lounge. It is first come, first serve. You can walk up to the check-in desk and see if there is availability at that lounge. And maybe... You know, I mean, yeah. they, those people have to leave, like the people that are already in the lounge have to leave at some point. So <laughs> um, that is a possibility. All right. Number one. Number one. Shameless plug. <laughs> Use a travel agent. I mean, we are there to help you figure out exactly what restaurants you want to make ADRs at, give you suggestions. Um, you can, I've had plenty of clients just go, this is kind of what I want. Can you just schedule me something or surprise me? Pick the things that you think are best. I mean, it's we are there to help you make those decisions if you want us to. A travel agent can really very quickly figure out what restaurants would be best for you and recommend those to you so you don't have to do hours and hours and hours of research looking at all of the available options and getting stressed out about what you have to get or don't have to get. Or you just say, I want to eat the most popular stuff. That's viable too. Like that is yeah. a legit answer. You can say that. And then the travel agent can be like, okay, here's the most popular stuff right now. And yeah. we can try for that. Yep, absolutely. So there you have it. Those are the 14 pro hacks to score the most popular Disney dining destination reservations. If you need any help booking your next trip, please let us know and we will see you on the next video.